What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Dolph Flight Click, Clutching H247. We are here giving you guys some more tip videos from a formation that I run pretty much every single down, almost, unless we go and switch it up a few. But it is out of Trips Tight End, out of Packers Playbook, and this play is most likely in every other Trips Tight End book that is in the game. But we're doing this out of Packers Playbook. Now, it is halfback uh, slip screen, or you can even do it with... Um, the other one, which is the gun trips tight end Y screen, which is right here above me, where it basically is this little uh, screen with this on the side. The same thing that you are going to get when you get this uh, halfback uh, slip screen. But the thing that is kind of weird about this is that I kind of got a little bit of inspiration from watching other people doing this. And then I was figuring, could you do this inside of trips tight end as well? And I figured this is actually a very good thing to do in trips tight end as well. You guys seen me do it when it came to this, uh, was it pack trips? Yeah. From this pack trips, I believe doing this half pack slip screen from here and kind of seeing it from the, the Y receiver screen, which was in I mean, this jailbreak slot screen, I think it was this one, the flex tray. But it was um, originally something that I got from here in Trips Tied In from this halfback slip screen that I started calling this a lot. You guys see the average is like 10 yards now. But I actually started doing this, and it actually was very, very successful. Um, you guys could do this, but there is definitely ways to sit here and counter it. So I wouldn't do it every single time. I would do it like at the right moment. But if you guys do it at the right time, it's actually perfect. But I'm going to show you guys something here in practice mode. And then we're going to go to a solo challenge in Mutt just so I can show you guys um, something about this play. So, and once again, I know that my audio is behind. And I know that the screen is kind of like fuzzy, like you kind of played on a Nintendo GameCube. Stuff that I was using and stuff that got, got going on, settings got messed up. My TV is kind of broke, so I mean, my monitor is kind of broke, so I'm on my TV now. So please bear with me as we bring you guys more of these videos. Um, we're going to try and get upgrades as soon as possible, but for right now, please bear with me because we are trying to upgrade everything that we got going on right now. But back to the play, halfback slip screen. You guys can basically do this against any play, um, but you got to watch out for one thing and one thing only is basically this guy right here that I'm highlighting with M, is that you got to watch out if he's in a contain or watch out if this slot is going to be uh, coming towards you on that left side or if even this linebacker right here gets completely free because the left guard isn't going to sit here and take care of him. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys to play a few times here in practice mode. Then we're going to go into an actual game so I can show you something. So you guys can see here as I'm spamming triangle, which is the uh, hot routes. You cannot hot route this formation. If I go, I mean, this play. If I go to a different play, you guys can see now the receiver's um, icons is going to come up. I go back to it and try and do it once again. It's not going to work. So we go ahead and roll the play out. You guys can see here on that play that the corners was basically going to coming on that side so you must like most likely you're going to throw it to your running back because if you try and throw it to the left side of the field while you're backpedaling let me go ahead and show you guys this if you do that it's going to give you an inaccurate running like a back foot off your back foot so the one thing that you want to do inside this play is you hold the left stick to the left right and then after you hike you will immediately go over plant your feet and then make the throw or if you have a dashing dead eye or a roaming dead eye on excuse me, uh, you could actually get accurate more passes. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and hold right, I mean, hold left on the left stick, and you guys can see he's instantly rolling over to the side. And what you can do here is actually run the ball with this, and the uh, basically he's going to bring all of the safeties over, I mean, not the safeties, all the cornerbacks and bring it up. And here where it's like blitzing just like this, get towards the outside, run just like that, you can easily get some extra yards just running the ball just like this. And then when you throw the ball, that's the illegal man downfield. So basically, he's just, they just airing it out for you to go ahead and get down the field. But does when it does come like this, you do got to find something else. Boom, I'll go ahead and move him up just so I won't have to deal with him. But then he does get tired, things like that. But now we're going to actually go ahead and go into a solo challenge where I can go ahead and show you guys 
what you can do with this play that you cannot do inside of practice mode and that you cannot do inside of a game as well. Um, the one thing that you can do inside of a game is that you can actually hot route that play if you have two abilities, right? You can actually do it if you don't have one of the abilities, but one ability that you do need to kind of give you what you need is Conductor. Now, we're going to go towards one of these Legend solos, right? And we're going to go to, let's just say, we'll go to one of these solos that will... Uh, yeah, we'll just do this final challenge right here where I got to score a touchdown at a certain point. I will show you guys how to uh, hot route this play with only two abilities. And the two abilities that you need is Conductor and Hot Route Master. So if we go down here into the play once again, you come out in this halfback slip screen. As soon as you come out into this play, you got to go ahead and put your uh, circle in a corner route and then tr uh, triangle on a flat route. As soon as you're able to do that, ding, now you can roll out and actually hit that at the right mark. So boom, we go ahead and roll out once again, just like this, roll out just like that, roll it just like this, and then now you can actually roll it towards that side. It is very, very uh, glitchy to sit here and um, do something like this. We're actually gonna run the ball and then run this towards the, let's just say the right or the left. Let's just see if I can get it towards the right side a little bit. Yeah, and then just go down right here. So now we're actually going to run it again towards that left side once again and show you guys what I mean. So as soon as you hike it, go ahead and do it just like this. These are the only adjustments that you need right here. And it basically makes that flood concept that it is in bunch. But now it's kind of like that little rollout glitch cheese to where now you can hit that circle and just roll out and get a nice little down on the outside. Then if it's not there, you still have Schultz on the inside. So hold on left on the stick. Go ahead and hold on to Sprint. And if it's not there, you can easily throw X right there. And that's going to be a laser right there on that side of the field. Now we're actually going to flip it towards the other side where you can do it on this side as well. If you have a right-handed quarterback, most likely you go ahead to the right. And if you are a left-handed, you can most likely go to the left. But as you can see now, you cannot go ahead and do it. I hurried up. I forgot to go ahead and show it off. But if you go over to the right, you guys see the play normally. Um, you can go ahead and just do that. So now when we go back to this, go ahead and hurry up and do it. Well, now it wouldn't let me. So basically now it gives me off this. But because this is a hurry up, it's not going to be how it is in a real game where it can show up the things just like that. But basically just roll out towards the side. Boom. And then just roll out just like that, and you have an easy touchdown going off on that side of the field. It's literally that easy to run the play. You really don't have to, like, do so much when it comes to that play. But another thing that you could do that basically helps it out, you could just basically um, do something like this, roll out to that side. So now you guys can see as the, uh, what you call it? Um, you see that the QB contain actually tried to stop me on that spot. That's the one thing I wanted to tell you guys. Watch out for that QB contain. Because then it can actually um, render you from actually going out and doing that uh, rollout that you want to do. And um, if somebody sits here and blitzes another person on that side, then it's a whole nother problem. So, yeah, go ahead and use that if you want. Don't do it every single play because, like I said, the... Uh, um, the thing that they have going on and, uh, Matt, where you sit here and, uh, basically, what is this thing called? Where the little detection that they are going to run the same plane over and over again. That's definitely something that, uh, is going to take effect. So don't do it every single time, but just do it to towards the times where, you know, somebody's going to sit here and, uh, going to get caught off guard by you actually doing that. But yeah, so you really, all you have to do if you actually wanted to put the right person in the spot, put your fastest player right there, you kind of like have like a mid out, deep out type of thing right here. Um, put your best tight end that can get uh, speedy, do his thing that you want. But um, yeah, just basically come out on the play just like this. Hurry up and do the adjustments just like that. You need conductor and how I master. Or instead of just have a conductor, and just go ahead and do this. 
roll out towards that side. See the QB container is kind of not there. You guys see that it's wide open. You can easily get some yardage with that play. Um, but you can easily do it just like that. Or if you don't have Hot Route Master, you can do this. Put circle on an out and then put him down there. So basically, triangle, circle, uh, right on the left stick, which puts him on an out route. And then you smart route him and then put triangle on an out. And it kind of acts as the same way. You see? Kind of just basically is like a clear out for him to get right there. Um, so technically, it will be a lot better if you have a deep, um, what you call it? If you have a deep, oh man, I kind of messed that up. Time out. So I kind of messed that up without doing that. But um, it will be a lot easier if you sat here and had basically like a slot apprentice or a hot route master. So you can put that deep corner right there. And then that uh, flat where triangle is on is basically what's going to clear that down. But if they're running cover three, cover four, things of that nature where they are going to go ahead and cover that route up top, you still have the underneath. So you still roll out just like this, and then just go ahead and hit that route, boom. Go ahead and get a little sticky, just like that, and then now we're in the end zone for a touchdown. So that's pretty much an easy play that you can have here inside of um, Trips Tight End. That really makes it a lot difficult to sit here and like get ready for because you have this in the back burner. There's something that you can definitely do. Like if you sit out, sit here coming out in the play, things of that nature, you can come out and do it here in the red zone as well. Uh, boom, roll out just like this. You guys can see, you can basically just keep it right there in the end zone. Just, if they just stay in man, they, that can basically help, help you out a little bit. But yeah, that's ba basically the whole play. If you guys like that, make sure you guys go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Um, in some leagues, you cannot sit here and do like the rollout glitches, you know, certain glitch plays and things of that nature, like instant rollouts, like you got to stay in the pocket, do certain things of that nature. But like I said, if you have leagues where you can sit here and do this sort of stuff, you can go ahead and get away with it. You feel me? So I go ahead and try and send a pressure right here. See if I can get a pick or something. Nah, he throws it away. But yeah, if you can, you can easily try and get that to happen. This works online as well, so it's not just something that um happens when it gets to playing a computer or things of that nature. You can easily do it when it comes to playing somebody. But make sure you don't bring this out every single play, because one, the defensive line is going to start reacting to it a lot more. Um, and another thing about it is that they're just going to sit here and be keen to what you're doing and got to sit here and um, they gotta, they're going to make a play on it. So let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Any more plays that you want here at Just Hide In, definitely let me know. And if you guys want any more tips as far as anything else, just hit me up. If you guys enjoy it, make sure you guys leave a like, comment down below, subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, folks, peace out.